Now, the next commitment involves the following participants. Todd Lipka of Step Up on second. Steve Bing of Shangri-La Industries. Deborah DeSantis of the Corporation for Supportive Housing. Philip Mangano of the American Roundtable to Abolish Homelessness. Here's the challenge. Los Angeles is known as the homeless capital of America, with more homeless population than any other urban area in the United States. Because of the severe lack of housing for homeless people there, 83% of the population, some 55,000 people, are living on the streets. Many are also affected by a serious mental illness and have no access to health service. This is how they're addressing it. Step Up on Second has already provided 80 permanent housing units to formerly homeless people in the Los Angeles area and now commits to build, develop, and operate 200 more for people identified as most vulnerable by the Hollywood Homeless Registry. This five-year initiative will ensure that the residents and an additional 1,400 chronically homeless people have access to comprehensive services, including health care, case management, and social and educational programs, and provide special assistance to homeless youth and their families, all free of charge. Notably, each of the apartments in these units will be built sustainably. 40% of the energy will come from renewable resources in alignment with the City of Los Angeles' energy agenda. But let me just say that back in the dark ages, uh, almost 18 years ago when I became president, we had a horrible homeless problem. I, for many months until someone with an assault weapon shot out the White House, shot out the White House, I used to run out the back door of the White House every day and go on my morning run. And every day I ran by homeless people who were sleeping on the streets of the nation capital. And I finally stopped and started talking to them and tried to determine why they were homeless. And I asked our HUD secretary, uh, Henry Cisneros, to devise a strategy to end it. And uh, the efforts were combined with the economic recovery were remarkably successful, but they bore a striking resemblance to what our participants here proposed to commit. This is a really big problem, and the economy makes it a bigger problem than most people know, because so many ordinary Americans who do have a place to sleep at night are in trouble we have largely ignored this. I'm very grateful for this commitment. And what I hope will happen is that out of the experiments, if you will, based on the experience of Step Up on Second and what they're doing to build affordable and sustainable housing, I hope it will lead to the kind of reform that we initiated in 93 and 94 to once again eradicate homelessness in our country. It also be a good thing to do because construction unemployment is 25 percent. So if we could put people to work, you know, retrofitting empty structures, not building new ones uh, for clean, sustainable living, it would be a good thing for the, uh, for the economy, too. So I hope this will prove to be a model for something that other American cities and our Housing and Urban Development Department will embrace. Thank you very much for doing this.